Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. We will be looking at the drafting of Edwardian corset. For the part one, we'll do the drafting. And then for the part two of the video, we'll be doing the stitching. So if this sounds like what you love to hear, what you love to learn, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. So I've gone ahead to draft my basic board, my um, front block. This is actually a dress, okay? So um, as you can see, I have my chest line, my bust point, my underboss, the hip, the half length, the hip line, and then the full length of the garment. Okay, we're making. So we'll go straight into the video, and we've established our ham hole and the neckline. So we'll go straight into the video. First, we want to do is to um mark out our we want to mark out our bust span measurement. Okay, so the bust span measurement for this client is four. We'll be adding our um, see my allowance bust span is eight if we divide that by two is four and then plus half inch that's 4.5 so we'll just mark that and then um, take it all the way from the bust point the chest line sorry to the hip line okay so we'll just establish that with we'll just connect all our dots with a straight line okay so um after that we would be imputing our darts okay we'll be imputing our darts remember this is edwardian corset um the difference between the major difference between Ed edwardian corset and other corsets we we have been making is that the half length for the edwardian corset is longer than that of the normal corsets okay so um we've gone ahead to take our that our bust span measurement so i want to impute my that at the under bust um line at the under bust i'll be taking i'll be taking a wider that at the under bust and um, than at the half length so at the under bust i will be doing 1.25 okay why at the half length i'll be doing 0 0.75 okay um this is basically um the that intake for this client and most times it works for so for the half length, I'll be doing 0 0.75. Okay, I want my that width, my that intake for the half the under bust to be wider than that of the half length. That way I would have um a cup that will lift very, very well. Okay, so I'm just trying to connect my points. All right, so I'm just trying to connect my points with a straight line. Sorry. So um once that is established, now to get the the where to connect it at the bust point, I just want to come down like half an inch at the from the bust point to connect the that the that we just um sketched. Okay, the that we just marked out. Sorry, I'll just connect that. All right, just I all I did was just to come down half inch from the half inch from the bust point you can actually take it to the bust point if you want but um coming down by half an inch or one inch helps your helps to prevent pointiness of your of the cups okay so we've established that now i want my cups to be well covered so i'll be going up by two inches from the chest line this is because i want the cups very covered okay all right i'll just do 1.5 seems my two inches is much i'll do 1.5 because we'll still be adding seam allowance to this measurement so i'll just um yes we'll be adding seam allowance when we're cutting on our main fabric okay so i've gone ahead to establish the upper part of the dart now the next thing i want to do is to take i want to determine my bust radius so that i can start forming my cups all right um but sorry before we do that the that's here will not stop at the half length you just come where your that will stop just come up two inches from your hip line either two inches on 1.5 inch from your hip line is fine so you connect that that to that two inches point we came up by okay then we'll now go and impute out um we'll now start drafting our cups okay sorry we'll start some um, forming our cups for the Edward and Corset we're making. Okay, so I've gone ahead to connect that, that. And then the next thing we want to do is to get our cups. So to get our cups, you determine your bust radius. This is what helps you get your bust. The bust radius is the distance between the bust point and the underbust. So for mine, vertical um, distance, 
between the boss point and the other boss. Mine is four inches, so we just want to impute that four inches all around. Okay, first we'll just take the four inches from this boss point. Make sure your measuring tape is at that um, um boss point. So I'm just marking out my four inches all around. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so just four inches, which is the bust radius. Okay, so I just used dotted lines to mark this out as you can see. Okay, you can as well just try to blend them all, but all that is not necessary and so that this video doesn't get too lengthy. So now that we've established our bust radius, um, for the chest line, for the cup separation, I'll be coming in by half an inch at that chest line. You can as well come down half an inch from the chest line, okay, and then go in by half an inch as well, okay. So once I establish that, is this half an inch point that I'll be connecting my center cup to, okay. But before we do that, um, I'll just draw that, take that to the bust point, okay, and stop that there. Then I'll form my cups first, the center cup. Remember, we have a bust um, radius of four, so I'm just use, following that our dotted line we did to get this part of the cup first. Then for the side cup, okay, for the side cup, because the bust is fuller at the side, we'll be adding one inch to that four inches. So that's the one inch right there, okay? And then we'll connect that one inch to the under bust line, okay? The way it's shown here, you can see, just follow the, what I'm doing. Okay, so now to connect this, to get to where this will stop, um, you just come down from your armhole line either by 0 0.75 inch or 1 inch, okay? But I'll just do 0 0.75 and then I'll extend my line, the cup line, to that 0 0.75 inch, okay? So now we want to determine the... Um, we want to determine the dart intake at this upper chest point, sorry, at this upper point so we can form our cup. So what we'll do is... The same dart measurement we took at the waist, which is 0 0.75, is the same thing we would be taking at this upper part. Okay, so we impute the 0 0.75 on the on both sides of that line, just like that. And then we'll go up by half an inch from the bust point. Remember, we came down by half an inch, so we'll go up by half an inch, and then we'll blend our upper darts to we'll blend our upper parts to that half an inch that's um the half an inch marking we did upwards from the bust points okay so that will enable us get the upper that and then from there we'll go ahead to determine the shape of our cups okay so right now this is what we have and then i will now connect this that here to the center to this half inch we came in by okay so i'll connect this and then i'll connect the other one to um i'll be connecting the other point okay so i'll connect this other dart leg to this 0 0.75 inch we came up we came down by sorry from the ham hole okay so that's what it will be looking like at the end of the day all right so yeah all right so that's what we have at the end of the day then you just want to go ahead and close up this opening because this will be having a yoke okay this will be having a yoke you can actually choose to make yours without a yoke it's still fine all right so i'm just trying to blend in okay i'm just trying to blend everything so they lay nice and flat okay all right, um, nice and nice and flat, sorry about that. Okay, so we for bus tightening, we'll come in more by 0 0.25 on both sides, okay, for bus tightening to avoid gaping. Okay, so we'll just blend that in and blend this as well, okay? So that's to prevent gaping. So we did 0 0.25 more, okay? And then right now, the next thing we will be doing is to imputes our horizontal measurements okay so now for the bust of this line the bust is 38 all right the bust is 38 dividing that by 4 will give us 9.5 and then i'll go ahead and impute the 9.5 but before i do that i want to measure 
what the that width I have here, that's 2. 2 plus 9.5 would give us 11.5. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add a seam allowance of 2 inches. Okay, then at the underbust, we would also in measure the that we have. This is 2.5. Um, the underbust measurement for this client is 30. Okay, the underbust measurement is 30. So that's it. They'll give us dividing that by four will give us 7.5. Okay, 7.5 plus our 2.5, that's 10. And then we'll go ahead and impute our two inches for seam allowance. Now at the half length, we, we want to snatch the waistline. Okay, remember that um if you refer back to our video for waist snatching, um you you'll understand the calculation but i'm snatching this by four inches okay so that's to say two will be off from the front two inches off from the front two inches off from the back so the the measurement for this client is for waist measurement is 32 um if we subtract 32 four from 32 that will be um 28 so dividing that by four will give us seven and then we'll measure our that's intake here which is 1.5 so that takes us to 8.5 okay 8.5 and then we'll go ahead and impute our two inches seam allowance okay so um just want to connect this so that we'll see what we have so far we connect seam allowance to seam allowance and then mean seam to main seam okay so this is what we have at this point then we go ahead and impute the hip measurements okay so the hip measurement if you're using the hip allocation method um you can actually do your deductions but i'll just use the contemporary method hip divided by four hip measurements is 42 divided by four that will give us 10.5 okay and then i'll go ahead and impute uh two inches of seam allowance all right and i will now mark this Oh, sorry, placing my pattern master the wrong way. So I'll go ahead and mark this, okay? Yeah, I'll do that for the main seam as well. We just did the side seam. Okay, so for the down part of the dress, sorry, let me just move this up so you see. For the down part of the dress, um, I'll just subtract one inch from the hip measurement. We had 10.5, so I'll be doing 9.5. You can subtract as much as 1.5 or 2 inches or i want this to be very very comfortable um, so that you can actually bike for those of us in nigeria if you want to so i just did that and imputed uh um i imputed the same allowance as well so i'll just connect all the lines all right so now we want to go into getting the edwardian part of this corset do not forget always label your cup this is our side cup this is our center cup okay and then this is the darts area we will be taking off this darts okay and this is our yoke all right this is our yoke okay so if you want it as a tube you ignore using the yoke okay so now for us to get remember we said the difference between edwardian corset and that of the normal corset is that it has a longer um, waist length so from the actual waist length will be coming down by four inches okay four to five inches is okay but i'll just make that four inches and then from that four inches you can connect it with either a straight line or a curve okay but i'll just use the um, curved part of my pattern master and then i'll connect it to the hip line okay so from that four inches connect it to the hip line now um i have my connection here to the hip line so i'll just extend this mark into the side seam okay that's four inches we came down by i'll just extend it into the side seam okay you can see it's four inches this is our seam allowance okay this is our seam allowance so um we're through with the front panel um we will be cutting uh, but before we cut this out, uh, we'll go ahead and draft the back panel, okay? We'll complete the back panel, and then we'll come back and finish this up, okay? So, so this is our back panel, okay? Like we did for the first part, for the front part, and um, we're going to have to impute 
the bust span line and then every all vertical measurements okay chest line half length there's no bust at the back so no need for the bust point and under bust and all that so hip line and then the full length so we'll be taking in uh that okay um remember this is a zipper allowance i just took out one inch so this is our zipper allowance um you can actually use 1.5 but i'm fine with one inch at the zipper allowance because when i'm cutting on my fabric i may just add that half an inch okay so i'm taking half an inch on both sides of my darts okay to form my darts and then i'll come down to determine where the darts will stop i'll come down two inches from the chest line either two inches on one or one inch is fine okay so i'll come down two inches sorry this is actually rubbing up. Let me hold that with us. Okay. And then to determine where it will stop, remember for the front, we came up from the hip two inches um, from the hip line. So that's where the other that will stop. Okay. Um, now you just go ahead and connect your half an inch, half an inch to the upper part and the lower part of your that line, your bust part line. Okay. So we're through with the up and then we'll do the, the one for the down part. All right. And then we we'll proceed to imputing our horizontal measurements. Okay. So the bust span, the chest bust measurement, sorry. Um, all your measurements goes from the zipper allowance. So bust measurement is 9.5 because it's 38. And then we'll do two inches of seam allowance. Um Waist, waist that here is one inch because it's one on both side, half on both side. And the waist, we used seven because we snatched. <clears throat> Sorry. So we, we are using 28 divided by four, that's seven, plus the one inch, that's eight. Remember, we snatched the waist measurement. Then our seam allowance of two inches. <clears throat> the hip is um 42, which is 10.5. And then we go ahead and also add our seam allowance of Oh, we're lucky. A seam allowance of two inches. And then for the full length, let me move this. Whoa, sorry. For the full length, we subtracted one inch from that 1.5, which gave us... So we'll be having um, 9.5, okay, to get the down part of the hip and of the, of the dress, okay? So we'll go ahead and connect all... Uh, points together. I'm starting from this down area here. So just connect it. Main seam, side seam. You just connect everything. Okay. I still have this rolling up. I don't know. You pattern paper. Don't you want to stay and work? <laughs> okay. So sorry. I'll just hold this with my bracelet. All right. So I'm going to be connecting the hip. We'll connect the hip. Main seam to main seam, side seam to side seam. So that's basically it for the back. Then we will impute the um, the, the Edwardian part, okay? <laughs> Who do the Edwardian part? All right. So that's that for the back panel. Just um, probably extend your handhold curve to meet up that side seam. Okay, so this is our seam allowance, all right? And then remember for the Edwardian part, we came down four inches from the um, four inches from the waistline okay um the major focus is at four inches from the waistline i hope you can see okay so the major focus is at this waistline so um we'll, we'll come down four inches from the waistline or the half length and still connect it to the hip line but for this back the front we connected with a curve for this back i will be connecting with a straight line okay and um you extend this into the seam allowance, okay? Now, for this um, Edwardian corset we're doing, we'll be lacing the back, so we won't be needing this part of the zipper. This part will be cutting it off, but we want to determine where our zipper will stop. So from that hip line, I'll just come up. You can come up either four or five inches from the hip line. So I just did 4.5, okay? I just did 4.5 and extended that, okay, to get the zipper line okay to get the zip line now this um your line 
these slants we did for the Edwardian corset that we came down will not go into your zipper spot place. It will stop at this zipper line here. It won't extend, okay, into the zipper line. And remember, okay, for this part, this is the yoke. If you want to have a yoke, okay, we, you can just come down one inch from the chest line, sorry, one inch from the chest line, then you can take that up to the ham hole and then connect it to the you can come down by more than one inch you can come down by two you can come down by four uh, depending on how crazy the client is so if you want a yoke um you just come down by that and then you'll be drafting you'll be cutting that out as your yoke okay so um this is our dart. We are taking out the dart. I'll just go ahead and cut out this back panel. Then we'll bring back our front panel and cut. Okay. Sorry, I had to get my scissors. So first we want to do is we we came up by four inches from this um, hip line. That's to determine where our zipper will stop. All right. So we want to cut out. We want to first cut out this, um our... Edwardian part. <laughs> I like calling it the Edwardian part. I don't know. So we want to cut this out first. Okay. We want to cut out this part first. And then just follow the, the shape of what you drafted and cut. Okay. So we've taken that out. So um, now this down part now is this is our skirt part back block. Okay, this is the back block for the skirt parts or the down part of the dress. I'm just calling it skirt part okay of the dress okay so remember we are cutting two pieces for this back panel while the front will be cut on full okay so um i'll just go ahead and finish up i'll go ahead and finish up cutting this front and then uh the neckline you can alter it to what you want i won't be using this round neckline but i just left it this way okay so I'm just cutting. We're just cutting out this um, pattern. All right. So we're going to be cutting out that part. Um, and then since we'll be cutting. Since we will we'll be lacing the back, sorry, we'll be taking off this zipper allowance and then we'll stop it at that four inches we came up by, okay? So some part of the upper part of the dress will be having um, a zipper and then it will connect to the lower part of the dress, okay? So um, I, won't be, I won't be cutting out the dots, but you can cut out when you're through. But I, I still want to show us how to um, impute the... So you can see what we have. We still have part of the zipper here at the upper part. So um, next thing, we want to determine the shape of our, um, what's it called now? We want to determine the shape of the lacing we'll be using at the back, the modesty panel. So I'll come up here and I'll be marking four inch is here. Okay, and then I'll just connect it to um, where my zipper stops, okay? So just from four inches to where that zipper stopped, the four inches we came up by. Okay, that's what I will be doing. So it will be connecting to the dart leg. All right, so that's it. So yeah, it will be connecting to that bust point. <laughs> so that's what we have. So we'll be cutting out this part for our modesty panel, okay? Um, let's finish up the the skirt part, all right? We finish up the skirt part, and then we will come up and we'll bring back the front panel. So this is still the back panel. We just need to cut out the excess. Remember, we didn't do the cutting out. Okay? All right. Okay, so we we'll just cut this out. I'll just leave that little stuff there. All right. So we we'll bring the front panel back. We'll still revisit this back panel because we need to know if we're taking out our yoke and we we'll also take out the modesty panel. Okay. So we'll be back with this front panel and then we'll just go ahead and cut the same way we did the curtain.
for the front so you can start anywhere now we know how to cut but in order for you not to make um, mistakes in order for you not to make mistakes it's always good to cut to start your cutting from that um, from the part within the in extended half length the increased half length okay so i'll just go ahead and cut that out then we'll cut out all our that so when you want to cut this on your main fabric you add seam allowances at this point okay so i'm just cutting out the pattern all right and then you cut out the neckline based on what you want Sorry, my scissors is breaking. Okay, and then you cut this out. The you take out the yolk. Okay, you're trying to take out the yolk. Okay, and then um, we'll be cutting out our dots. So, Take out your dots. Please do not forget we <coughs> do not forget we took an extra 0.25 inch at that up for tightening. I don't know why my patterns are all falling off the second paper. It's just troubling me. Okay, so we'll cut out the cut out the other dots. So we'll go ahead and separate this one for the center front. Remember, we already labeled our cups. All right, so this is what we'll be having for the front. So um, if you don't want to have too much of joinings, these are our cups, so just keep that aside. If you don't want to have too much of joining, you can go ahead and close up this, your front bodies. And yeah, this part here, you can go ahead and close it up so that you you just cut it as a piece okay i'll close that all but um let me take off let me cut remember to label and this one you're cutting on fold okay where we, we shared the pattern paper you're cutting on fold and this is the front panel okay so the front panel is cut on fold why while the back panel you, sh you cut two pieces for the back panel okay now for this down part you won't leave it like this and um, i you come up by one inch okay you come up by one inch and then um blend that into the uh, main full length but this is not my full length i'll still be adding to this that's why i'm not doing that okay so um if you if you want to cut this as a main piece i'll just cut this here so that i'll know how many inches I'm adding to get the actual length of rest I want. Okay, so that's the front block. And then, uh, like I said, if you want to cut this, if you want to sew it individually, you can sew it individually, but um, I would prefer to close it because that would make, it, would make my stitching very, very easy for me. So I'll just use my masking tape and close it up. Okay, just make sure all your lines are meeting up. So I'll just close this up with my masking tape. And then we're basically done. All we just need to do is to cut out the uh, modesty panel for that back part. Okay, then we know that we're through. Okay, so I just closed up this dart right now. Yeah, so you can see I've closed this up. So um, everything is together so i'll be cutting this together and then for the cup as well if you want a three-piece cup um if you want to style this in a three-piece cup i'll be showing us that in the stitching video 
how to do that i'm just leaving your cups so that's that for this um, tutorial please like comment share help me help me help me so that i can also help you and post more content okay thank you okay so for the back panel to cut out the modesty panel all you need to do is just to first cut out your yoke okay just first cut out your yoke and then you can now take out your modesty panel okay so we'll be lacing this you can now take out your modesty panel you can also cut out your dart for the back piece cut out and close it up just like we did for that front okay just to make it easy you can cut out all right because we already added a uh, one inch of stitching um, stitching allowance to the back panel one inch of that sorry not stitching allowance we already added that so you can cut this out this way okay and then you stitch you can also cut it completely and then close it the way we closed you know the the one for the front so whatever you want to do if you want to close it that means you cut out everything whichever one you want to do it's totally fine so thank you guys please subscribe to my channel help me grow so that i can help you post more lovely lovely sewing videos thank you